Hi kids! I'm so excited that you've joined me for this music lesson today. My name is Miss Lisa and I'm going to be singing all kinds of songs and doing some fun activities with you. So we're going to go ahead and get started because I've got a lot planned for this lesson. The first thing we're going to sing about is our feelings. And we experience all kinds of different feelings. Sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're sad, sometimes we're afraid, sometimes we don't feel much of anything. We'd call that neutral. Uh, sometimes we're really super excited and sometimes we're just mad. And sometimes when we have those feelings, we don't even necessarily know why we're having them. We're just having them. The most important thing to know is that it's okay. But if you're feeling a certain way and you'd like to feel better, I think the best thing you can do is find somebody and talk to them about it. And I bet you they'll make you feel better. So let's go ahead and sing our song. Move back and give yourself just a little bit of space. And don't forget to sing in your most beautiful soft singing voices. is about a girl from New Brunswick in Canada. New Brunswick is a, a province in Canada. And if you look at that map, you'll see there's a little blue arrow pointing to the province of New Brunswick. I used to live in New Brunswick and I taught this little girl named Maeve. And she used to love going canoeing and camping with her family on the Miramichi. That's a river in New Brunswick, and it's mentioned in the psalm. So if you have time later today, or sometime this week, maybe you and your parents or you and your teacher can look up the Miramichi on the internet and look at some pictures, because it's a very beautiful place, and I know you'd love it there. So in this song, we're going to pretend that we're paddling our canoe. And if you don't have anything to act as a paddle, you can just pretend and just move your arms like that. But if you're in a school, you may have rhythm sticks or lummy sticks, and these make great paddles. If you're at home, you may want to grab a wooden spoon out of the drawer. Wooden spoon is actually kind of my favorite paddle, and I'm going to be using this one today. So on the verses, I'm going to be doing different things with my paddle. And you have to mirror what I'm doing. So that means you have to watch me very carefully and do exactly what I'm doing. And then on the, the chorus of the song, that's when we're going to paddle our canoes. Here we go.
I had so much fun. Our next song is a balloon song. And for this song, we're going to need to get back in our very own spaces. And if you're in a house, you got to make sure you've got lots of room and that you're not going to bump into any furniture or anybody else. And if you're in a school, you may have a little square that you're allowed to be in. So you're going to be able to get up and move around in, in that square, but you got to make sure you don't get close to anybody else. So in the beginning of the verse, we're going to, we're going to get down like this, because at the beginning of the verse, there's no helium in our balloons. And as it gets filled up, we get higher and higher, and then we bounce around. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start that song. You make sure you get comfortable in your own space, and then I'm going to move right back there. The notes went down, 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 down. So our voices were going from high to low. And did you notice that our bodies were moving exactly the same way? So that means for that part of the song, we were showing the melodic contour of the song with our bodies, which is really cool, right? And the other thing that's really important about that song is that we sang about a number of colors. Now, I'm going to ask you a tricky question. Can you remember the order of the colors as they happened in the song? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think about it. And this is what I think the order is. I think we started with a blue balloon, and then we had a pink balloon, then there was a red balloon. Then we pretended to be a purple balloon. And the last color was green. So we learned about some colors in that song. So that was a good job as well. Now, the next thing we're going to sing about is piano and forte. Now, we've learned about these before, but we're going to review. So when you see a P, a fancy looking P like that in your music, that means that we must sing or play softly or quietly. And then sometimes you might see an F, and that F stands for forte. And that means we need to sing or play loudly. But we never sing so loudly that we shout or yell because that can hurt our voices a little bit. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to play a rhythm pattern while we're listening to this song and singing along, if you know the words. 
Uh, and I was digging through my cupboards last night and I found my popcorn bowl from the dollar store. And this is a perfect drum. So I'm going to play this. You can play anything you like. And if you don't have anything to act as an instrument, uh, you can clap your hands. But you might have a drum that looks like that, too. Or you might have a real drum, like the ones I have here in the background. So for my uh, popcorn bowl drum, I'm going to actually hold it with two hands, the palms of my hands, against my body. And when I'm playing with this hand, this hand right here is holding it, and then back and forth like that. And we're going to play two different patterns. And a, a repeated pattern in music is known as an ostinato. So our ostinato for the piano portion of the song is like this. And we're just going to repeat that pattern for the entire verse. And then when we get to the forte part of the song, we're going to do a different ostinato, which sounds like this. <clears throat> Okay? And luckily, I'm going to be doing it right here on camera, so you can just follow exactly what I do. Now don't forget, the first part is soft. with our song package this week. I've got all kinds of fun activities planned for you. We're going to be playing some instruments. And don't forget, if you don't have actual instruments, it's okay. Anything that you can tap together to make a sound can be an instrument. And I love that we can use anything around our house or our classroom to make an instrument. So, let's all wave goodbye. And I can't wait to see you in another lesson. <laughs>